Hello, my loves. Welcome to a new pick a card reading. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how are they currently feeling about you? So this can be your twin flame, your soulmate, your beloved, your crush. We're going to go in deep on what they're feeling for you at this time. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. I am Dr. V. It's so wonderful to have you here. Make sure you hit that subscribe and join this incredible community. As you'll see when you get uh, active in the comment section, people are very supportive. And so if you're looking for a home here on YouTube, people who understand your journey, what you're going through, this is the place. So today I have a pick a deck reading for you. So remember, this is a general reading. Not everything may resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. But if you're at that point where you really need clarity on your unique journey with your special person, you might be feeling very heartbroken, very emotionally exhausted. This may have been very like a roller coaster experience, right? I know some of you are in challenge with your person. Some of you are in separation. Uh, you may have had kind of hot and cold or off and on energy. That is why I highly recommend that you have the live reading experience with me. This is something that I absolutely love to do. I'm one of the few people who offers this, and it's because I truly believe in the healing and transformative power of us getting on a video call together and spirit answering all of your questions right there in real time. So I offer that, and I also offer video recorded readings. So you can go to livetarot.com forward slash readings, and you can see my entire menu right there. So go ahead and take a deep breath. See which of these decks resonate most for you. You can choose deck number one, number two, number three, or you can pick them all and take the messages that resonate. So this is deck number one, and that is the Gentle Heart Tarot. This is deck number two, and it is the Tarot of the Divine. And this is deck number three, and it is the Wandering Star Tarot. So go ahead and make your selection, and we will get started with deck number one. All right, group number one that chose the Gentle Heart Tarot. Let's see, what are their current feelings for you? We're going to start with your tarot, then we will open up these oracle cards for you. Okay, so for our beautiful group one, how are they currently feeling about group one? So we have the Hierophant. the Five of Cups. And we have the Knight of Diamonds, which in this deck is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So there's definitely a lot of sadness, a lot of sorrow, a lot of loss that this person is feeling right now. So maybe you guys have been going through some challenges. Some of you may even be going through some sort of a separation at this time. I feel, Group 1, if you are feeling that this person doesn't care or they're not feeling the loss, I feel like this is a confirmation from Spirit or a message from Spirit to tell you that no, they do feel the loss, okay? Whether they're acting like it or not, whether they're putting up like more of a facade to the world, they might be acting like, you know, everything's fine, nothing's bothering me, I'm just normal, but inside they are feeling the grief, they are feeling the sadness, they're feeling the loss. I feel like this person misses you a lot at this time. Even if, even if you're together, I feel like this person misses 
something about how it used to be between the two of you before challenges happened or before a separation happened. I feel like this person is right now kind of living in the memories. You know, they're going over the happy, good memories in their mind again and again. But the more they try to seek comfort in those memories, the more pain they also feel because it makes them feel very sad that somehow this happiness is not here anymore. That's what I feel like. There's something here that has gotten in the way of your happiness. Um, some things have happened that have gotten in the way of the way things used to be. I don't know. I get the strong energy from this person that they're very kind of focused on what used to be because they're having a hard time accepting whatever is the state of the relationship now, okay? And I feel like that's where the sadness, the loss comes. Now, I do feel like maybe publicly or like, you know, they're trying to give off the energy or the look, whether it's on social media, whether it's through family and friends, or whether it's through the way they act, if and when you see them, or through messages you might get from them, Knight of Diamonds, they, they're acting like they're trying to move forward, but it's very slow progress, okay? I feel like this person is also right now maybe trying to focus a bit more on their financial situation or their work situation in order to move forward. Um, it's a good distraction, okay? So this person is definitely distracting themselves by trying to, um, you know, just be feeling like they're accomplishing something or feeling like they're succeeding in something else. Um, and the easiest thing for them to feel like they're succeeding in or focus on is work or finances. It's like they feel like a, I feel like there's an energy here of like they feel like a failure. Okay. They feel like there's whatever has happened here or is happening in the connection is making this person feel like they failed, like they failed you, they failed the relationship, they failed at love. I feel like there's some sort of a cycle here that they're also experiencing and they're starting to understand that maybe this keeps happening to them because I don't feel like this is the first time this has happened to this person. I feel like they definitely have a pattern of loss or a pattern of like relationships failing to the point where it makes them feel like the failure. It makes them feel like, well, I'm the common, the common person here every time. Why does it fail every time? And I think it comes from this hero fence energy. I feel like this person is starting to realize that maybe sometimes they're too rigid in their opinions. Um, sometimes they give off that, that energy through their words or through their actions that it's kind of like my way or the highway, you know, they can be a bit too forceful in what they believe to be true. And sometimes they don't give you or even maybe other people the space and the grace to have your own opinion right? To be able to uh, understand your perspective that, you know, not everybody sees things the way they see it. And just because they think that their perspective or their opinion or their way of seeing a situation is right, doesn't make it right. Okay. Because everybody has different experiences. Everyone has different perspectives. And I think this person is slowly starting to realize that maybe that's the problem. Maybe their relationships end or they feel like a failure because they often don't give that grace. Okay. They didn't give it to you. Maybe they haven't given it to other partners in the past. They tend to sometimes want to push their opinion down your throat. They want to be the person who is right all the time. And it's very hard for them to admit. And partially it's an ego thing. Partially it's a pride thing. Partially it's a I'm right kind of thing. They, it's hard for them to go back and admit that they are wrong or they made a mistake. I don't feel like this person you know, often owns up to their own shortcomings. Like they sometimes try to hide their shortcomings or if they're proven wrong, they try to kind of dismiss that or they try to, you know, like not address it. Okay. This, this person can be somebody who doesn't openly want to say, you know what? I was wrong about this and I'm sorry. Okay. 
I'm not saying they don't ever say that. I'm not saying that they don't ever apologize, but I feel like it's a struggle for them. Okay, they tend to have some sort of rigid um, ideas, and and I think that's what leads to that five of cups for them. And I feel like whatever is going on between the two of you, the challenge may be coming from their kind of need to have things a certain way. Now, I'm also getting from this energy that this person is missing you and feeling the pain of some sort of loss even more deeply because I think that they really wanted to marry you um, or have a very serious commitment with you, okay? It doesn't have to be like, you know, it depends on how you see commitment, but I do feel that for many of you, this person was envisioning marriage with you, okay? Some sort of a very deep commitment. And so if that has been jeopardized right now, if that has been compromised right now, they are feeling the pain of the loss even more so. And so I feel like they're trying to kind of cover up that energy by by acting like they're, start, they're, they're trying to move forward, you know? See, look at that, lovers. So I feel like this person deeply, deeply loves you. They deeply want to be with you. That is why with this Five of Cups, I just feel like they're feeling the struggle or the separation very, very deeply. But if you are wondering, like, why don't they show it? I also think that this person can be the kind of person who is good at not wearing their heart on their sleeve. Like they're good at not showing their deep pain. Um, they're kind of good at hiding that sense of loss. Um, and they're good at kind of putting up this front of like, okay, I'm, I'm just working, I'm fine, nothing's wrong, I'm good. Like that might be something that is very, um, something they've always done, very easy for them. They've always done that in the past whenever they fail. And that's why I feel like they have the sense of like, I always fail, but I'm good at hiding it or I'm good at covering up my internal failures. Okay, so this person still very deeply loves you. They still very deeply want to be with you. And that is why that five of cups is a very deep pain. See, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I feel like this person wants to ask for forgiveness and they want to release and heal the past. Okay, so if... There's been a lot of struggle lately, a lot of challenges between the two of you. This person wants to change that. They want to release and heal whatever has gone down in the past between the two of you. They do wish to ask for forgiveness. And it's interesting because I said, right, they have a hard time asking. They have a hard time admitting that they're wrong. They have a hard time at saying, hey, I am so sorry. And I feel like this loss, the fact that they still love you so much is, is pushing them into more of that self-discovery, asking themselves those deeper questions and saying, you know what? I think I need to, to finally realize that it's time to apologize. Okay, that it's time to ask for forgiveness, that you can't just pretend everything is okay, nothing's wrong, you didn't do anything wrong, um, you didn't, you know, hurt somebody, right? Like you can't just like bury your head in the sand, which is what I think this person often does. Okay, so this is a really good thing. This whole energy of forgiveness, I think, is going to be key. This person is wanting to come towards you to ask for forgiveness. The opportunity knocks, go for it. So they're looking for the right opportunity to approach. Um, I, I feel like it would be very soon because we're getting the go for it. I feel like this person does not want to let you go. They don't want to, they don't want to fail again, but they also feel like you are the person that they never want to fail with. Okay, so I think in the past, like they failed, they've acknowledged that, but, but they also didn't hold on to those people, other people, because deep down inside, they knew that this wasn't the right person for them. But with you, I feel like it's very different. I feel like they see an opportunity here to have 
exactly the kind of life that they want with you who is exactly the right person so this is an opportunity that they want to go for they don't want to mess this up although i feel like to some extent they already may have you know they may have already kind of made some mistakes here um <laughs> right but i feel like they are very motivated inspired to actually fix this mistake be willing to express love when we express love we begin to receive more love see so this is why i'm saying this person has a hard time express maybe expressing their love but also like i said expressing their remorse so they may be as somebody who again with the higher event may seem a little bit more you know standoffish maybe a little bit more rigid they hide their emotions maybe they have a hard time expressing love forgiveness asking for forgiveness but i feel like again with this opportunity card i just feel like they don't want to miss this opportunity to be with you you are different you are special you are not like any of the others that they have been with or met in the past okay so let's get some specific feelings from them and if you could take a second to give this video a like and a subscribe thank you so much it really helps me my kids and the channel you are my home and now i feel like i'm out in the cold see so i feel like this person really does think of you as their home there's this deep sense of belonging this deep sense of we were meant to be we're supposed to be together we're each other's home i miss your beautiful smile and joyous laugh they used to light up my world see again i feel like this person just sees you as home um the warmth the love the the feeling of belonging the feeling of i belong here this is meant to be i feel like that is what is very deep in this person's heart attached to my ex i'm attached to my ex emotionally physically and or spiritually i need time and space to break this connection okay so take that as it resonates for some of you this may be the reason right and remember like i said for uh, i said this person has failed in the past okay they felt like a failure in the past and for some of you i'm getting kind of like this like this is kind of a haunting of the past right for some of you there's something here that is hard for this person to break free from but i do feel that it's not that they're attached to them as they want to be with them it's more they're attached to the failure that that brought them to they're attached they haven't let go of the bad feelings this is what i feel um and i feel like it's not necessarily one ex but it's like those past relationships some sort of negative energy bad feelings bad taste in your mouth reminder of how you always how they always fail that's where it's like they're still attached to those exes from their sense of failure that's where i feel this energy is coming from so this is why i feel like this person is trying to come forward and ask for forgiveness and clear some of these energies and clear this idea that they always have to fail they don't always have to fail and i think that's where it's like they're working on that opinion right that it's not always going to lead down the path to failure it doesn't have to always fail right if you grow if you seize the opportunity if you express your love and you ask for forgiveness and you go back to that lover's energy why does it have to fail so yeah this i love this this person truly wants to change okay this fall energy changes in the air is beautiful right this person wants to change the outcome i feel like they're used to the outcome never being that great they're used to the outcome never being so good right they want to change it this time okay with you they want this to work okay they don't want to they don't want to let go because look they've learned their lessons okay so whatever again with that those exes from the past i feel like this person is finally learning the lessons and when you learn the lessons that's when you grow that's when you change that's when you get into this fall changing transformative energy i love it beautiful 
interesting so i feel two energies from this one is if you guys are in a long distance relationship at this time this person is definitely going to want to travel to you they're going to want to come to you in person ask for your forgiveness and and make your plans, your future plans for where you want this to go, what you want to do next. And for others of you who this is not a long distance relationship, I just feel like I love this. This is forward momentum. Okay. This person very much wants to move this relationship forward. And that is what they are absolutely going to do. I feel like that that's where their feelings are at. They don't want to let this go. They want to work this out. They want to move this relationship forward. I love it. So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do the live or the video recorded. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading. They're great problem solvers for your urgent questions at home. Everything is at livetarot.com. Make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one. My beautiful group two that chose the Tarot of the Divine deck. Let's see how they're currently feeling about you. So we're going to start with your tarot and then we'll open up these oracle cards. Okay, so group how does your person currently feel about you? Wow, beautiful Ten of Cups. Death. The lovers, wow. Really big energies coming through here, group two. This is amazing. Wow, okay. So with death coming up here in the central energy, this makes me feel that there's definitely been some sort of a pause or an ending in this connection that this person is very much struggling and suffering through. I'm feeling an energy of like, almost like tragic level suffering because there was so much investment emotionally. Okay, this person felt completely emotionally fulfilled in their connection with you, whether it was a connection, whether it was a deep friendship that turned into a connection, because I do feel for some of you, this was a very deep friendship it's like friends into lovers, you know, that's not for everybody, but I'm just getting a specific energy there. But I feel like because especially for those of you who were, it was like this very deep friendship that turned into lovers. I feel like this person really did experience a very deep emotional attachment to you first as their bestie, kind of like their confidant, the person they turned to, the person who understood them the most. I feel like they just felt so seen and heard by you in a way that they never have by anybody else. There's this deep level of understanding, deep level of understanding. I think this person has been looking for that. And maybe you have two group two. There's something in this person that all they ever wanted from a lover, from a partner, was to be heard and understood. And I feel like there's something in this person's past, especially in the way they were raised or their upbringing or their relationship with their parents. I feel like this person has never fully felt seen, heard, or understood. And so there's a craving, there's this deep hunger in this person and what they didn't get 
from their parents or their family, they have tried to find that through a partner. And I feel like they still never did until they met you. And that is why I feel like if there's been some separation or some misunderstanding or some sort of challenge or obstacle in the path of this union, it is feeling like a death to this person. Okay. It is feel like they are in despair. Okay. They are feeling like any kind of separation from you, whether it has happened or whether it's in their mind, they're afraid of it happening, would feel like a death because this person, and you might even be mirroring each, mirroring each other in this, just feels like nobody has ever seen them or understood them the way that you do, group two. It's like this primal desire and I feel like they feel that when you look at them you are literally looking into their soul okay I feel like they just feel this is so interesting look at this it's just kind of like a beauty and the beast type of a, an image that's how they feel <laughs> you know, they, they, it's almost like they don't understand what you see in them because they feel very flawed. So this person is definitely very insecure. They have a lot of insecurities. And I do feel that that it comes from, again, of some sort of traumatic or difficult childhood. And so they, you know, it doesn't matter what gender they are, but they feel like they're this beast. Like they, they almost feel like they've never felt like they were worthy to be loved. They never felt that they deserved love, that they were worthy. They always felt that there was something within them that was unworthy. That's why their parents didn't give them love or attention. That's why their parents didn't make them feel seen or understood. They feel like this beast. And like I said, it doesn't matter what gender they are. It's like they just feel like they are not attractive. And, and I don't mean that physically. I mean that they're just not attractive as a partner. People wouldn't want to be with them eventually. People will, would want to leave them eventually. There's just a lot of negative self-talk that this person hears in their mind, okay? And that is why they almost feel like, like, it, like they hit the lottery, like they hit the jackpot when you actually fell in love with them. See, you are this beautiful person that fell for them even though they see themselves as undesirable. Okay, and again, I don't mean that in a physical way. I mean undesirable energetically, vibrationally as a, you know, as a partner. So I feel like they, they feel like they hit the lottery, the jackpot when you actually fell in love with them. They're like, how did this happen, okay? And in that process, they just fell head over heels. They could see an entire life with you. They could, they had visions of the future. And there was this deep sense of satisfaction, this deep sense of desire for that future to come into being. So this is why I feel like with this death energy, this person may have sabotaged this. Maybe their old wounds came out. Maybe their insecurities were triggered. But I feel like they're going through what feels like a death if there's been a challenge or struggle with you because it feels catastrophic to them. It's devastating to them. And they, are, they also have some realization that maybe they self-sabotage this through their own issues. Because see, again, I feel like their feelings for you are so clear, group two. You are the gift from the universe they have always wanted to receive, but they never thought they were worthy of receiving this gift. And I feel like this is literally you, like your love, your affection, your caring, your compassion, your energy, your presence in their life. They think it is the most precious gift they've ever received, but they never thought that they were worthy of receiving such a gift. And they never actually thought that a real, that this gift would ever really even come into their life. See, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So I feel like they're very appreciative 
of the way in which you have expressed your love to them. I think you really opened up your heart and you allowed them a space in your heart. You saw them for what they were. You did see that they struggled. You did see that they may not have the highest self-esteem, that they have self-worth issues. You've seen their emotional struggle, but you accepted them anyway. And for that, they are so grateful to you. And for that, they want to express their love to you. Maybe they have struggled in doing that, or maybe the way they express their love, maybe initially they were able to express it a lot, and then maybe something went cold here. So I do feel for some of you, this person was very expressive in the earlier stages of the relationship, and then they may have pulled back, or they may have been triggered, or they may have self-sabotaged as they got closer to you. Okay, originality, blaze your own trail. See, I feel like this person regrets that and they want to express their love to you if they haven't already. And if they already have, I feel like they're just very deeply, deeply grateful for the ways in which you express your love to them, which is they're very grateful for the way you've accepted them. They feel that you are very original. See, they feel like you're very different from anybody else that they have met in the past. And that is because I think because of your open heart, because you accepted them, because you didn't really even expect them to change. You just accept accepted them exactly as they are warts and all issues and all insecurities and all limiting beliefs and all and so they feel that you are truly unique you are truly special you are different you're unlike anyone they've ever met and they want to bask in that glow it's almost like they want to be part of your energy and when they're not part of it or if they have been banished from it, like if you have stepped away or they themselves have triggered themselves into stepping away, then they are feeling the death of that, right? Be authentic to who you are. You are asked to be real and true pertaining to who you are and how you feel, okay? So I feel like this person also feels that you are very authentic, okay? You've been exactly who you are. You have shown them who you are. You've been transparent. You've been honest. You've been yourself. You've been very real. Okay. And I feel like they regret that there are certain parts of them that maybe they couldn't be fully authentic about. And that I, again, I feel comes from, and this is not a justification. This is not a protection of this person. This is just an explanation of the way in which they may have hid certain things from you out of their own sense of shame. They may not have been honest about certain things about themselves um, out of their own sense of their own limiting beliefs, out of their own sense of insecurity. They may not have been completely real or authentic with you about where they are in their struggles, where they are in their life, um, where they are in their mental health. Because I do feel that this person, and again, there's nothing to be ashamed of, we all struggle. We all have our own burdens to bear. As one of my friends always says, we all have our own burdens to bear. This person may struggle a bit with that mental health portion, right? Because there's something that is still unhealed in them when it comes to, like I said, not feeling like they received the love, the support, um, of, from their caregivers. Okay. So because of that, I feel like this person holds back they're never, they don't fully engage because there's a part of them that, again, doesn't feel like they're worthy, that if they were, if they acted like their authentic self, they will be rejected. I feel like this person learned from the time that they were little that if they are to be authentically who they are, their caregivers or their family rejected them. They, they didn't accept this person authentically for who they are. So they, so they learn to hide their authentic self because out of that fear of being rejected. Okay. So let's put their feelings into words. And if you could take a second to give this video a like and a subscribe, thank you so much. You have no idea how much it helps me, my kids and the channel. It's always been you. I don't know how to tell you the truth. I want a new beginning. Yeah. See, so beautiful because death, 
this death energy is also the energy of transformation, right? It's that, yes, something could end, but it's also the energy of what's on the other side of that, which is a rebirth, a transformation, a new beginning. Okay, so this death, something may have ended, something may have been traumatic here, but this person wants the transformation that's on the other side of that. I feel like, oh my God, what did I just say? What's on the other side? I feel like you're on the other side of my every breath. Wow. Wow. So there's something here about the other side. What's on the other side of the situation right now? I feel like there is a transition energy. There's a transitional energy that is coming through here. There's something on the other side of this ending or on the other side of the challenges. Mother wound. See, my mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy within me and externally. So what did I say? There's something here, like I said, about the family, about the parents. There's something here. And for many of you, it could be mother wounds. Okay, mother wounds. And it's interesting because if you are watching for a divine masculine, that might be the mother wound that is keeping that masculine from being able to be fully authentically himself with the Divine Feminine. Wow, very powerful, very clarifying. See? So this person, again, they feel incredibly romantic about you. You are the person they want to be with. You are the only person in their heart. Interesting how this romance came below this 10 of cups as well as this it's always been you, right? So this person wants to come back into the revel, the flow and savor the romance, the connection, the lover's energy that you had and maybe it has diminished because of the challenges or it has ended for now, but this person wants to come back to that romance. They're feeling very romantic towards you at this time. So they're pretty, see, it's so interesting. I love this. They understand that it is their perception, right? Their false beliefs, see, red flags, delusion, perspective, see through your own false beliefs. So they realize, they recognize that, you know, these wounds that they carry are very much false beliefs at this time. The belief that they don't believe in themselves, they don't believe that they're worthy, all the negative self-talk. They know that these are wrong. They know that they need to shift their perspective especially because they want this Ten of Cups with you. And I think they've come to realize that until they change these beliefs or until they work on healing these wounds, that Ten of Cups with you is going to be elusive, right? It's going to be very difficult to have. Um, and even if you have it, like it's going to create, you know, it's going to create some drama until this is at least in the process of healing, until they become more aware of where these limiting beliefs create tension, right? Where they create blocks and obstacles in that romantic lover energy. Yeah, see? So this person doesn't want to be stuck anymore. They feel like this relationship or this connection is stuck. There's, there might be silence right now. There might be barriers right now. And they just don't want that. They want to clear the path. Um, but they're feeling very stuck right now. They want to come back to you. They want this to work. They want to see what's, what's, what is the transformation on the other side of this, because this 10 of cups and this lovers is the dominant vibration. It's the, the foundation of what they truly feel. Okay. So I feel like this person is going to be trying very hard to become unstuck, to bring this back into the forefront right now. 
So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do the live or the video recorded. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading. They're great problem solvers to answer your questions at home. Everything is at livetarot.com, so make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all in the next one. Okay, my beautiful group three that chose the Wandering Star Tarot deck. Let's see how your person currently feels about you. We're going to start with your tarot and then we will open up these oracle cards. Okay, so how does your person currently feel about you? Group three. So we have nine of pentacles. We have Six of Pentacles, interesting. We have the Five of Swords, interesting, okay. So this person right now is very much focused on trying to be almost like equal to you where you're at. I feel like this person they love you, they care for you, but they also respect you a lot, okay? They may have even respected you so much that they've put you on some sort of a pedestal. For some reason, they think that you are above them, okay? Now, this may or may not be true. You may not think this at all, but I feel like they just see you in a very high way. Like, you are somehow better than them in some way, whether you are more successful than them, whether you have a better job than them, whether you have more money than them, whether you've achieved more in life. It's almost like this double-edged sword. And it's interesting because of this five of swords. It's almost like this thing of like, I respect you so much. I love you so much. You're so amazing. But at the same time, it makes me feel a little less than as an I need to kind of, you know, up level. I need to better myself to be worthy of you so there is a bit of this i am so proud of you you're amazing i look up to you i respect you but at the same time i feel less than i feel like i am not where you are or whether i could be better from where i am Okay, so this person is almost like seeing this as a, seeing this relationship almost as an inspiration to move forward in their own life. Because I feel like this person, Nine of Pentacles, they really have struggled for quite some time to stand on their own two feet. Okay, they may have experienced a lot of career or financial setbacks. And I feel like it's been very important for this person and their ego, their pride um, to win at something in life, okay? Because they feel like, with, uh, I just feel like with this Nine of Pentacles, it's like they feel like things just never have gone their way in the way they want it to. So they feel like they're a little bit down on their luck. They feel like they've tried different things, but they failed at them. Like you know, maybe things just didn't work out. I feel like this person has tried very hard to make a place for themselves in the world. And oftentimes things have just not gone their way. And so they do feel very like um, egoically wounded. Like their, their ego has been wounded by that because there is something within them that feels like they've, you know, been a little bit of like, I don't want to say failure, but a little bit of a struggle, right? Like they've really had to hustle and struggle and work very hard for what they have, but they feel like they didn't get good breaks in life. You know, they felt they, it's, it's almost like they come from this energy of like other people have all the luck, you know, other people get good breaks. I never do. Things never go in my direction. So I feel like they, they, they love you. They, they, 
they respect and admire you, but they do struggle a little bit from that negative thinking based on their own experience. And that is why we're getting the six of pentacles in the central energy. It's almost like this person feels like they, they question whether they can give reciprocity in this relationship. Okay. Again, I just feel like this is this reading is not a question of their love for you it's a question of them feeling inadequate okay like they feel like will they be able to be the right partner for you or will you eventually feel like they are less than in the same way that they see themselves like their greatest fear is that you will see them eventually the way they see themselves because they see themselves as somebody less than right so it's almost like this this they have this sense of like how did they ever get you okay <laughs> like you know like why are you you know why would you want me you know look at me like I, you know, I've lost money. I, you know, whatever I'm living with my brother, I'm living with my sister. I'm, you know, I don't have my own place right now. I've, you know, I'm, tr I'm struggling. I'm trying to find a place and you are this, you know, you're doing really well. Um, you have your life together. I don't have my life together. Can I even make you happy? Uh, will I even be able to reciprocate? Um, I just feel like this person has a lot of love for you, but they also just feel disappointed in themselves. There is an ego around here. There's a pride. There's a sense of like their pride has been wounded, not by you, but by their own life circumstances. Okay. There's just something within them that feels like they can't reciprocate or they can't give to you what you deserve. And if they can't give you what you deserve, will you eventually walk away from them? You know, like, and they don't want to keep taking from you. Okay. So this person, I also feel like they feel like they're taking from you, not money or anything like that, but just like energy, love, attention. Like they feel like, oh, am I taking too much? Am I not able to give in return? Right. So I feel like this person, their main energy, their feelings towards you is the feeling of, um, vulnerability right like this feeling of not good enough this feeling of not being able to give back to you what they're getting from you again i feel like that's energetically you know um they don't want ego to get in the way of the connection they don't want you know their own ego or their own pride to make them feel worse and worse and see we're getting that again with official person so this person very much wants to respect themselves more. They want to feel like they're somebody of some caliber. Like they want to feel that they could honor themselves. But I feel like right now they just feel so down on their luck. They feel so down on, you know, certain things in their life that have not worked out that they, it's almost like they don't honor themselves. You know, they want to feel that respect. They want to feel that honor from the world, but it's hard to feel that when you don't feel that for yourself. Okay. So I feel like this person wants to get back into a good place of seeing themselves as somebody who has some status in life, somebody who has, has achieved something and they don't feel like they've achieved something, but they want to. And it's almost like they feel like they'll be worthy of you when they achieve something, when they feel like they have something to be proud of. Yeah, see so retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. So I do feel that this person may be going through some sort of a depression at this time. You know, they might be very much in hermit mode. Um, they might be wanting to disconnect and retreat from the world. They may have even stepped back from you. And you might even be wondering, like, why? Like, I didn't do anything wrong. And you didn't, group three. You didn't. This person, if they have stepped back from you, if they have stopped communicating or they seem very distant at this time, it's not because of you. It's because of how they feel about themselves. Okay. They might be very disconnected, not just from you, but from family, from friends. You know, there might be a sense of anxiety or a mild depression that they're going through because things just aren't working out for them. It's very situational. They feel very down about their situation and it makes them feel unworthy. It makes them feel like they have nothing to offer to you. Um, it makes them feel like how can they, how can they have 
you know, it, how can they have that self-respect if they haven't really fulfilled any of their potential? See, think big for your future potential. So they, I, I feel like they see a lot of potential in this love, this connection that they have with you. But they feel like if they don't fulfill their own potential as a human being, then that is tied to their potential of having a future with you. OK, this person feels like unless they think big and do big things in their own life until they achieve something, until they are stable, secure and have something to offer, how can they really have anything to give to you? Right. So this word, this energy of potential is very big in their energy right now. The potential of what they can do in the world. The potential of having some place, some status, some respect in the world. And then using that to feel that that there is potential here between the two of you that they can step up into. OK, look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. See, so this person is definitely feeling very weak right now. They're going through, like I said, that stage of a little bit of depression, feeling down, feeling negative, not really finding that strength. They, you know, they know that they do have some inner strength, but it's like they've decided not to really, you know, access it right now. You know, they're going through a little bit of a self-pity phase, you know. Um, and that's what this retreat energy may be about. I feel like for this person, they do tend to retreat from the world and maybe even from you when they're feeling down on themselves, when they're feeling like they're just pitying themselves. There's a little bit of this, you know, woe is me kind of thing. But I feel like they're looking to come out of it by finding their strength again. So let's put their feelings into words. And if you could take a second right now to give this video a like and a subscribe. Thank you so much. Like When you hit that subscribe, it's absolutely free to you. But you have no idea how much it actually helps me, my kids, and the channel. You are the love of my life. I didn't figure that out before. I know now that it's true. Yeah, see not surprising. So like I said, in this reading, I don't think the love is the issue. The issue is where this person's at. I always look for you at airports as if we'll be at the same place in the world. So to me, this is also the energy of, you know, for those of you who might be like, this might be long distance and you feel like this person, you know, like, they're somewhere else. They're struggling in their material life, wherever they are. They want to be with you, but right now they've retreated. They can't be because they're struggling with, with, you know, finances or being in a position where they can, you know, come see you or come be with you. So I feel like there's something here about travel or about distance that is also coming through for some of you. Take it as it resonates. Lost. I feel lost without you. Yeah. Definitely. Like I said, this is really not about their love for you. The love is there. They're just feeling lost in what to do in their life to kind of get to a better place. See, this is the second time we are getting ego. This is with that five of swords. Okay. So this person, if they have retreated from you, if they are not talking to you, if they've been silent, it is not because they don't love you. It's because of their ego. Something may have gone wrong in their work, their finances, and they're just very embarrassed or their pride is too high right now for them to admit what went wrong. Okay. Or what losses they've had. You know, maybe something happened where it was a loss, but they feel like it's their fault. Right. So they're coming to the realization, okay? They're in the process of awakening to being in a better place, you know? Um, awakening to the potential, both in their material life as well as in the potential of where this relationship can go. If they can just not feel so unworthy, you know? So unworthy of this love, unworthy of this relationship. I feel like they are slowly awakening to the possibilities and to the potential. See, 
this is why I'm not surprised. We're ending with the energy of self-worth. I feel like that is where this person needs to go energetically, vibrationally. And I feel like that is where they are, even if they're going through some sort of a depressive phase right now, you know, a little bit of this, you know, self-pitying phase, I feel like they are very much struggling to come out of it and to come into a new phase, a phase of awakening towards a more brighter future. Um, working on their self-esteem, working on their self-confidence and self-worth, trying to come back into a place where no, yeah, you know, I'm not going to continue to feel like nothing is ever going to change for me. I'm going to believe that in this love, in this partnership, as well as in my world and in my life, things are getting better and things will get better. And I have to continue moving forward, not just with, you know, with their work and their life circumstances, but also this desire to move forward with you, okay, to move forward in this relationship and to not let them feeling down upon themselves, make them step away from the relationship in shame or in that sense of, you know, low self-esteem. So I feel like even if they've retreated, they're definitely coming out of that sense of retreat. They are kind of looking for that inner strength. They're looking for that potential. They're looking to realize the potential. But I do feel group three that, again, the main lesson of this reading is that it's not that they don't love you. It's that they're struggling to love themselves. Okay. And when they can step into loving themselves more and not looking down upon themselves, then they will also be able to fully love you in that Six of Pentacles, full reciprocity energy, okay? So if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can do the live or video recorded. You can also order any of the Oracle decks that I have created and used in this reading. They're great problem solvers for when you have urgent questions at home. Everything is at livetarot.com. So make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for being here. I'll see you all on the next one.